Tom Every, a.k.a. Dr. Evermore, began welding together sculptures from scrap metal he'd salvaged back in the 70s. And over the years, he's managed to fill up a field near Baraboo, Wisconsin with the whimsical results. The good doctor resides part-time in a nursing home now, but his gal Friday, Lady Eleanor, was willing to give us a guided tour of the wildly imaginative world he's created. Lady Eleanor, I presume? Yes. And this is the land of Dr. Evermore. Yes, this is. And it's been around for how long? 31 years. Dr. Evermore made all this stuff out of scrap metal. Yes, recycled scrap metal. And most of his things on here are from industrial wrecking jobs he's done. Right. They aren't just things brought in and purchased. He already had it. It's the name of the Celestial Ears. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the Celestial Ears. The speaker is from Deloitte, Wisconsin. And the brass that's around it was brass he couldn't sell because there were some scratches on it. Perfect for us. This is called the Epicurean, food-related in some way. Uh, it was my backyard barbecue. And this is 1976. It's the oldest piece here. It's a guitar, isn't it? It's a guitar. That is a tub for burn victims. Burn, burn victims. Feet. We had a problem here with a live bomb. and uh, Wait a minute. You had a problem with a live bomb? Yeah. Four live bombs were given to Dr. Evermore. They were souvenirs from the uh -huh. war. You must have been nervous having these live bombs. Not until I found out it was alive. I love all Dr. Evermore's creatures because he really, it shows his feverish imagination. Each one has different. There's not two alike, is there? There's no alike. How long does it take Dr. Evermore to make one of these things? Um, probably, as big as these are two or three days. This one was a spider. It was made upside down on its back. And then they turned it over. Then they turned it over. That must have been quite an operation. Pretty exciting. This looks quite impressive. Maybe a huge bug with great antenna, right? Yes, it's a juicer bug. And I'll show you where you go in. You can actually enter the bug. I'm inside the bug and I'm coming out. This is the Overlord Tower. There's one more section that needs to go on top, and then he'll be done with it. So a lot of these are still in progress. Absolutely. Is he still making stuff? I know his health is not what it used to be. Uh, yes, he designs. We take the materials to the nursing home. He picks out what he wants, and uh, then we have other welders that put it together. Most of the time, I have him be here at the park so he can watch the people. What is this called? Forevertron. The Forevertron. This did not take three days to build. Four and a half years to build it. Wow. That's a kind of a big beast, but... Uh, uh, what is uh, the myth behind it? Oh, the myth behind it. The fact, the myth is fact. You want to perpetuate yourself back into the heavens? on a magnetic lightning force beam inside a glass ball inside a copper egg. Well, yeah, I got room for you. You can ride along with me. I see the copper egg there, and I see the, the huge telescope-looking thing, right? Does well, that that's for the, uh, the ninka boots that I give uh, uh, non-believers. When we fire you off, whoever's back, they can keep the telescope on that thing and make sure you made it instead of dropping in the cornfield is the idea. There's at least uh, a 1,000 ton of miscellaneous things sitting around here. When you look at a piece of discarded metal somewhere, do you immediately start thinking that could be a bird or that would be a great rocket ship to the stars or you know do you do you think in that in those terms? The uh, the answer to that question is I really don't know anything what I'm doing. 